We're still on our BLM site, just northwest of Las Vegas, near the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. Today is a beautiful day. The sun's out, it's warm, there's like no wind. Oh, it's gorgeous. So we're gonna go adventuring today. And best part of all that is this trail we're going on allows dogs. So our girl Sweetie gets to go with us. We got our girl Sweetie's pack all set up. So there's food in there, there's water in there for her and us. Yep. And Jenny also has a lunch pack for us too. Mm -hmm. So when we get to the end of that trail, we'll sit down and have a nice lunch. And Jenny's wearing this uh, fanny pack that her friend Rachel gave us. Yep. So thank you, Rachel. Yes. We're gonna give that a try now. It's nice and small, yep. so it's lightweight. And, and it's lined for, for keeping food cold or warm. Yep. yep. I can wear it on my shoulder or whatever, however I want to really. And so we're gonna give it a try and yep. see how it works. If it's better than taking a backpack, because we don't need a full backpack today yeah. because we got the dog pack. Mm -hmm. And it's not that long of a hike. It's only 2.2 total. Um, it is going to be moderately strenuous and Red Rock Canyon is actually almost 10 degrees cooler than it is where we're staying now. So there's a good chance that we'll be a little chilly. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of warm right here. The sun is carrying a lot of heat. So hopefully it's like five degrees cooler, but if it's 10 degrees cooler, it might be a little chilly. Yeah. But we'll see if there's a lot of wind up in that <laughs> elevation too. There probably will be. Yeah, we'll, pro we'll probably be a little cold. <laughs> yeah. So we're taking a couple sweatshirts just in case when we get there. It's like, whoa, this is a little chilly. Need to put on some layers. Yep. The hike we're going on today is actually called Calico Tanks. It is rated as moderately strenuous. So it's going to be a little hard. <laughs> Even though it is a short hike, it's only 2.2 um, in and out trail. Um, but it's supposed to be one of the prettiest in Red Rock Canyon, and we're really excited for it. Um, sure, we're going to be pretty winded. <laughs> That's okay, but the view on top should be beautiful, and it drops down into the tanks, which are like little water pools or something. I don't know. The pictures look pretty, so <laughs> we're going to go check it out, and hopefully it's just as awesome as we imagine but it's a full hour's drive away from where yes. we're at. It's not the closest trail that we could have picked, but like Jenny said, it is one of, it's supposed to be one of the prettiest in the conservation area. So it's an hour away and we're already kind of getting a late start <laughs> to the day. Yeah, it's pretty late already. Yeah, so we gotta get going. We made it to the Calico Tanks trailhead and we're already on the trail and in just a little bit, but this area is absolutely beautiful. We've never been to Red Rock Canyon before and we really didn't know what to expect, but it's it's really well maintained here. The roads in are all paved. There's a pit toilet at the trailhead and this place is really busy. <laughs> Every parking lot we drove by on the way here was just packed and we were thinking that we weren't gonna be able to find a spot, but luckily there was one open for us so we snuck on in and uh, you know it is a friday so that's kind of to be expected and this place is also really close to las vegas but it's incredibly beautiful here we we're hoping it would be a little cooler up in the elevation of red rock canyon but unfortunately it's it's just a little bit cooler but not really that sun is still pretty hot so good thing we got we brought plenty of water and we're gonna just gonna need to stop more often for water breaks for sweetie because she's probably gonna get pretty hot wearing that pack so we're gonna make sure we stop nice and often for her so that she can stay well hydrated and not overheat. But she is incredibly excited to be here, just like when we were at Lake Mead. She's just really happy to be out here and seeing all these people out on the trail and everyone's giving, you know, looking at her and giving her love and wanting to stop and pet her. So it's, it's good to have her out with us. We love taking her on hikes with us.
So we made it to the end of the Calico Tanks Trail and at the end we were treated to this amazing view of the entire city of Las Vegas down in the valley and you can see the strip and everything and me and Jenny were talking about how absolutely beautiful it would be at night. It'd be freezing but it'd be absolutely beautiful. It was a really fun hike. It was a lot more difficult since we had Sweetie with us. There were a lot of tough inclines that we had to literally lift her up and help her up onto, but she's having a blast. She loved coming out and hiking with us, so it makes it all worth it. But getting her up here was one thing. Some of those parts, we're afraid of what it's gonna be like getting her down, <laughs> but we'll make it just fine. One thing we were worried about and that we are keeping a close eye on are Sweetie's paw pads. The sandstone is, it's not really rough. We, she's definitely been on rougher, but you know, we're making sure that she doesn't cut her paw pads on anything. Uh, and if there are any sharp edges that we, you know, guide her around that or lift her over it. So if you're thinking of going on a hike like this with your dog, uh, if it's on sandstone, just be really mindful that it could be pretty hard on their paw pads. Back at the trailhead for Calico Tanks. <laughs> and that hike was actually a lot harder than I expected it to be. After that 2.2 miles, we are all just dead tired. And honestly, it wouldn't have been that hard of a hike if we hadn't had Sweetie with us because we, you know, it was, we really had to hold on to her and make sure that she didn't slip at a lot of places and we were holding her back and um, carry her yeah, in we, some spots. At some points we had to literally lift her to get up and down from places that were just too tall for a dog to fit. But, you know, be that as it may, we're really glad we brought her even because <laughs> she got to experience that with us and we know she had a good time. Yeah, she definitely had a good time. And um, <laughs> without her, I would say that this is definitely just a moderate trail. Yeah. But with her, I'd have to say this is this was a pretty hard trail. Yeah, right yeah, here. yeah. Taking your dog on this trail kind of changes it to strenuous. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, but without a dog, if it's just a pe if it's just a person, then yeah, I would definitely say it would be moderate. Yeah, we've gotten a few questions in the last couple of weeks about what we do when we're on um, a particularly messy hike, whether it's you know muddy, there's a lot of water on the hike, or there's a lot of sand. And what we have, we actually have two towels that we bought from like the dollar store for just a couple dollars mm -hmm. that we leave in the truck. And that's to, you know, dry her off if she's gotten wet or wipe the sand off of her paws the best we can so she doesn't track it in the RV. Yeah. And, and she's going to get that treatment. Um, today. Today, because she's got some sandy paws. Yeah, they're, sure. they're completely dry, but she's definitely got a lot of sand in that we need to knock off before we get in the truck. Yeah. And we can definitely see why this is called calico tanks because yes. the, the rocks really are just multicolored all over the place. You know, there's bright reds and bright whites and yellows and even some of you know the same rock can be red and white or yellow and it's just beautiful here this was an incredibly beautiful trail and a really well kept 
uh, conservation area. But if you've been thinking about coming to Red Rock National Conservation Area, I highly recommend it and I would just go ahead and do it then <laughs> because it's incredibly beautiful here and it's really totally different than Lake Mead, which is just on the opposite side of Vegas. Um, but we are all pooped now, we're tired and we're just ready to go back to the RV and relax for the night. I know this one is. Definitely. Yeah. She's going to tuck her out. Oh, yeah. She's, oh, my gosh. As soon as we get home, she's, I, I just know it. She's going to go right to the bed and pass out. Yes. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want more videos from us, be sure to subscribe. And if you want more information on what we did today, be sure to check out the link to the blog post in the description below. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.